I'm gonna tell you a story. The first thing you gotta understand is time doesn't like the way you think it does. Call the call. You call the oracle because I'm the one who's talking to you. Alright, so. I've gotten to a point where I've actually uh, bothered to get around to putting at least four playlists together besides uh, the reversing styles uh, playlist. I, uh, I don't know, like an hour ago, tops, uh, powered through both the, um, uh, the Green Apple, uh, Mike's Air Lemonade, and the, um, the Boxer Bunch, so, um, I, uh, I don't really drink alcohol, I don't, it's just not a thing I do, um, so, I am, I am lit as F right now, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but um, while I'm on the subject, um, I happen to have uh, a list here, uh, a couple lists, so um, I'm gonna run through a couple of the uh, the five uh, sacreds, um, in terms of the uh, the ones I, I believe I already, I believe I started with, um, you have butter, clarified butter, specifically ghee, so you have ghee, yogurt, milk, ghee, yogurt, milk, uh, cardamom or jaggery, and honey, and that's the first one. Then you have, I have right here, the five grains. You got uh, rice, foxtail millet, wheat, soybean, and broomcorn millet. Um, broomcorn millet is the reason why I specifically, uh, when I did the corn one, uh, specifically went out of my way to, uh, I mean, uh, when I did the corn chowder, was like, oh, corn, this seems like a reasonable substitute because it's, um, I, I haven't looked into it. I'll probably research, research it at some point soon, but it's, it might be related to actual like maize or corn or Native American corn. Corn is, is from, um, North America as, as far as I'm aware, at least. So there's like the five, um, the five that I started with, the uh, five grains. And then there is, uh, five fruits, uh, apple, peach or plum lemon, pomegranate, and mango. Um, quick note, I still actually have to uh, get the mango over there. And um, those are uh, three of uh, five for five. And um, well, about it, there's actually a, a couple of pair, oh, I'll take you through the way of the pixels of May. So uh, while I'm on a, a, a topic like this, uh, the way uh, the the number five relates to Shalita or a story of song part a uh, story or a song of four parts is uh, five is where the five parts or four parts became a single story. So basically, if you take a bit of of the way of like putting together a single strand of string or yarn. Um, you take four individual pieces and then braid them together and you get a single string or a sutra. And that's basically where the core concept of, of just how um, fabric in general is made from a single string. Because generally single strings are made from uh, individual strings of something else. Um, and that's how like wool or polyester is, is their individual fibers are composed of um, some degree of fibers of, uh, of some number of fibers of a, a individual material. And that's uh, where thread count for like things like, you know, I'm sitting on a bed, that's where thread count for things like sheets come from. And getting into cosmology in terms of Buddhism, we have Zagala or foxes that get into the Navan Pucha or the Nine Tails variety, and we get into Naga or snakes, they get into the uh, the multiple heads. The thing, interesting thing about snakes in uh, cosmology like this is um, snakes have multiple heads, foxes have multiple tails. That's just kind of how it is. This is uh, this is uh, actually um, if you're familiar with the concept of found art. This is um, a piece of chain for jewelry, and that is an actual car fuse, like for 
for a Volkswagen Jetta. I drive a Volkswagen Jetta, by the way. Um, there's a there's a Sanskrit word called um, uh, arkansa or arkanasa, which means a uh, rattling undercarriage. Uh, my car uh, has has especially for the past two years has had a very rattling undercarriage. I I uh, I basically blessed it to be named arkansa arkanasa because. Uh, Poor, poor girl has rattling undercarriage. Um, I also, by the way, um, on the topic of my vehicle um, or my Karyana, literally Karyana in Sanskrit is, is car, because Yana is vehicle and Karyana is is car. Um, so I turned my car into a temple uh, specifically because uh, Saint Expedite, I turned it into a, like a saint temple or a, a Devalaya. Like Devalaya is general t word for temple. Uh, Mahalaya is for a great temple. Um, and uh, Vasra is for crossroads, and Marga is for a uh, path. So that's where that comes in. So basically, um, Saint Expedite, as a Roman soldier or a um, um, uh, Sainin, is the word for soldier. Oh, fun fact: um, Shadow Warrior, Chayabata, and uh, Soldier of the Light, uh, Giotta Sainin. Now, I could be wrong in terms of the way the order of the words is placed in terms of, like, adjectives and, and whatnot. I still, like, um, anyone who's actually watched this and heard me talk about Sanskrit, I um, I'm only kind of sort, like, I have a, a rather large vocabulary, especially in terms of things I've written down. But uh, in terms of what I actually know how to, to say in terms of uh, correct pronunciation and uh, actual correct grammar, whoo, I am rolling the dice. Just saying. Anyone who's seen PCU, there's at one point where um, I believe it's Jeremy Vivid is like basically handing people essays where they're like they're basically being they paid to get into a house party and part of the raise like the way they're like what they paid for is to uh, get term papers. Uh, horrifically, like, not something you can actually do in a real university, like, and get away with it if you, and, like, and get a degree if you get caught. Like, you might be able to get away with it. I'm not going to suggest you do it because that'd be dumb to do. But if it is possible, because, like, I've heard, like, have you ever seen this show on uh, USA called White Collar? Like, um, not White Collar. Um, it's basically about this, um, the main lawyer is named Harvey Specter. It's about a firm, like a law firm, um, that has this, basically, this kid, hires this kid as a legal aide who has an eidetic memory. And uh, he basically, I forget what it's called off the top of my head. But, um, oh, it's fun fact, I might actually have a, a physical eidetic memory in terms of, like, photographic reflexes. Like, I might have, um, at one point, seen uh, a kick that someone did in um, a game shop, like, just like hanging out, just doing a doing their like, um, I mentioned a, a gentleman who taught me like a core concept of like fire as uh, anger that can be focused and uh, water as lust that can be controlled and uh, earth as fear that can be curtailed. Um, and I was just like watching him like, just because he was standing there doing like, hum, 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 and he did like a small kick and I like. I did it in um, the room, like the bedroom of one of his students, just like hanging out with him because we were playing Ninja Gaiden and, and Mass Effect. And he was like, that is like the scariest, best snap kick I've ever seen. What did, What is that? So I might actually have photographic reflexes, but that's like a completely different thing from like a photographic memory of like a visual or an auditory nature. Um, plus also uh, with any talent that is like inborn, like there's a degree that it works automatically and there's a degree that it works uh, best if you actually train it. So, like, I've never actually trained. If I have photographic reflex, which I, like, may, which I actually vaguely suspect, like, I strongly suspect it, actually, at this point. But, like, I don't, like, know for sure, for sure I have it. So, like, because how would you? Because how would you? Really? How would you? But, like, if I do, like, this would be an indication that I would. Like, that I, I like, I accidentally did, like, a, a perfect snap kick. And then, like, he, he, like, my friend asked me to do it again. I tried to do it again. He's like, nope, can't do it. And I was like, for some reason, that actually inherently makes sense to me. But anyway.
Yeah, this is what happens when Oracle is like lightly buzzed on alcohol because like I am the cheapest state ever. I'm just saying. Like two drinks and I am buzz. You might not be able to tell I'm buzzed, but I am. By the way, this show is not for kids. You know why? Because Gona Chakra includes sexual congress and alcohol. Those things are not for people under 18 in the first case and 21 in the second. Specifically in the United States. And uh, I live in the United States. I'm not saying which one. Because uh, I like to maintain a degree of privacy at least. But like seriously. Um, if you're under 18. Don't be doing this extra times. Like I know y'all be doing it. But like I'm not going to be encouraging it. Just because like. I'm an adult. I'm like. I'm not telling you when I'm born, but I'm definitely over 35. I'm old enough to run for president. Or go for president. I'm just joking. I'm like, kind of, sort of, but not really. <laughs> um, honestly, on a side note, um, I kind of feel like I've talked about how I have these laws in my books called the high, like the high score. I really believe we we kind of actually need, if not the high score, then something like them, because like. There's a lot of uh, books on, like, laws in the books that, like, are federal laws or, like, are laws that are supposed to get rid of specific, really, like, racist or persecuting specific religion or, like, generally speaking, um, using states' rights as an excuse for the federal government to, like, let abuses of minor minority slide. Like, look, I'm all about the federal government letting states' rights have states' rights. But, like, the Civil War was about states' rights, and those quotes are the most, like, actual real air quotes that mean actually nothing ever. Like, seriously. The United... Like... Funny story, I might actually be related on my mother's side of the family through, like, um, Scottish heritage. I might actually be related to Donald Trump. My brother told me this, like, in Thanksgiving in, like, 2019 or 2020 or something like that. But, um, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Like, I would actually have to, um, I am, my, my grandfather is a, uh, English immigrant, um, right after World War Two, And he, um, like, apparently through him, I'm related to, uh, the Condits. If you know who that is, that's, like, uh, there was a scandal about a senator named Condit who had an aide disappear. I might be related to actually that dude as well. Um, like, I don't know for sure, for sure. Um, my brother would actually know for sure, for sure. Uh, but, like, uh, I didn't, like, here's the thing, um, that would mean I'm related to someone famous. And I don't care. I'm up to like past 40 videos. If I was like trying to trade on the names of people who I might be related to, I would have brought it up way sooner. Like, I'm just going to be real about it. But like, I'm also going to be real. Like, I have been told that's a possibility. Like, a very real possibility. Um, I don't know what the possibility is in terms of, like, actual percentages, but, like, again, I'm not trying to, like, trade on names or anything, so, like, um, alright, I lost the thread I was going to, uh, be talking about because, uh, I am, you know, lightly buzzed because, uh, I just had two, uh, V5 beverages of my, uh, my, like, Medea Gunna Chakra, and that is not actually, uh, something that you do, and, uh, in, especially in my case, since, like, I am, uh, not a regular drinker, and, um, uh, in my own words, uh, a very cheap date in terms of, like, the alcohol, like, <clears throat> I'm gonna, like, sign off for now, but, uh, Oh, we be the boy boss and I be done with the Molika Super Primordial Super. So yeah, like I might actually be related to Donald Trump. Fun fact, like that's actually a fun fact about January 6th that is like not related to the riots. Um, 
It's actually Epiphany. If anyone knows what a, like, doesn't know what Epiphany is, I'll tell you. Epiphany is the day that the uh, three wise men uh, found uh, Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. That's Epiphany. That's why it's called Epiphany. And that's why uh, Epiphany is often used as a term of like, oh, I've come to an Epiphany. I've come to a sudden revelation. Because it was the time when the three wise men had the revelation of why they were following um, the, the star of Bethlehem to find uh, Jesus and Mary and Joseph um, after uh, the, you know, the first 12 days after Jesus was born on Yule. Um, because Jesus is, um, if you have watch the uh if you watch the video about um uh Savika or not Savika um uh we are but servants uh 13 patrons um if you look at like things of Christianity and the story of Jesus as like strictly mythology and like now there's like historical documentation that there was a uh, a dude named Jesus um who was a Nazarene um, who was like, that's why he's called Jesus of Nazareth. He was a Nazarene. Um, and if I understand correctly, I could be wrong. Again, um, you, you might hear, have heard me say this before. I'm going to probably say it a couple times. I can be wrong. I can be wrong all day. Um, uh, part of the reason, like, I believe I might be intelligent. I believe that it's like close to impossible impossible for anyone to actually know if they're intelligent or not but here is my personal best guess of how anyone can know for themselves if they are themselves are intelligent how like are you capable of admitting first are you capable of admitting that you can screw up two how big can you screw up Because if it's like, I have screwed up, and it's been big. I don't know if you're intelligent or not, but you're willing to be daring, and that's definitely a factor. At least in my opinion. Again, I can be wrong. I can be wrong all day. Like, all day, every day. I'm pretty sure that happened at least a couple of years in a row. But anyway. Um... I'm closing in on 18 minutes. These are things are getting kind of long, so I'm going to, like, wrap this up. Is Oracle? I'm the one who's talking to you as the wits say. Oh, yeah. And as to a epiphany, January 7th is this tap day. The day when you would honor the distaff away. If you're referring to things like weaving, a distaff is something that picks up loose threads. But it's also the part you refer to, your mother's side of your family. So if I be related to Donald Trump, ironically enough, it be by way of distaff gone thereof. For my mother is Merta, she be dead and past. I love her dearly. But perhaps I'm still connected to a thrill of all people, Donald Trump. Through the Scottish part of the family, oh they be, oh they, oh they are the McQuaid sept of the McClouds. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, I am the McCloud. I have the quickening, there can be only one. <laughs> all right. And as with that a miracle, a beautiful lie, of all the ass at your good night, I love you. I might be back later after uploading this. It's early seven no seven, Satas on your Sata is. I know I'll be doing this to wrap it there up. Try to keep it under 20 minutes that'll dream safely everybody in the way of the week.